I'm very glad about that. Where I'm from, uh, uh, Baker City, Oregon, I believe is had. I was the uh, Trump transitions uh, leader for the Environmental Protection Agency team. Virus that stays since early December below 20, below zero. Uh, no. President Trump made some very definite promises in the campaign in the area of energy, environment, and climate. So I think uh, no one should be surprised because he's made it clear throughout the transition that he intends to keep the promises that he made during the campaign. So those include withdrawing from the Paris Climate Agreement, defunding UN climate programs, and going after uh, in various ways, suspending, rescinding, opening, withdrawing various rules. On the West Coast and now working on the East Coast. No, I'm not from the West Coast. Oh, you I think the fact that the states do a lot of the work, and uh, I think it's clear that they could do more of the work, uh, that more of the responsibility can be devolved to the states, and therefore the EPA can shrink. So I think uh, a, one a $1 billion budget cut in the first uh, fiscal year coming up uh, is reasonable. I'm 400, 400, 400, 400 miles inland. Okay. It'd be like I would go back to what President Trump said during the campaign. He said he would like to abolish the EPA or leave a little bit. So uh, does that mean shrinking it by half or by three quarters or by nine tenths? I don't know. That will be up to the, the new administrator and, and the White House and the OMB when they start looking at, at, at what uh, various federal agencies do and what their authority is what they have left to do. I mean, you know, the EPA's work has largely been accomplished in terms of protecting our environment, clean air and clean water, safe drinking water. Uh, there are still some challenges, but they're, they're challenges that are uh, not largely national. They're, usual, they're mostly regional or local. In Cleveland, I suppose. Isn't Cleveland probably 400 miles inland? Uh, I'm part of the consensus, that is, Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. Greenhouse gas emissions created by human beings are increasing atmospheric concentrations of greenhouse gases, and that that will cause some warming. That's, and that there will be impacts. That's the consensus. The claims that it will lead to disaster after disaster, there is no consensus for that. Are yourself part of the bicoastal degree? I'm from the west, but the Intermountain West. Okay. Yeah. We have modern technology. Human beings have dealt with climate change ever since human beings have existed and, and, and in fact have survived ice ages, which are a lot more trouble than a little bit of warming. The fact is that uh, we, we now, uh, in modern society, have the technology to deal with environmental challenges. And that's why people live in Phoenix. And that's why people continue to move to Phoenix and leave the upper Midwest and the Northeast because warm is good as long as we have air conditioning, which became commercially viable in the 1950s. It may not. Is it? Yeah. So, so, so you don't consider.